fantasy expert Heath Cummings. And Heath, I don't know where to go with this because the first two weeks when it comes to the running backs, a lot of injuries. And we're not talking about guys that are your flex guys or RB2s. We're talking about top guys, Barkley as well as Chubb. And you just saw the screen there with Austin Eckler. Uh, who's catching your eye to maybe fill some of these spots for those fantasy rosters? Yeah, and the real bad thing is we've had some of these injury replacements like A.J. Dillon and Joshua Kelly fill in and not give us much in place of the stars. So you do have to be dangerous spending too much on these backup running backs. But Jerome Ford moves to the top of the waiver wire list, not just at running back, but at any position this week. Listen, there is some risk that the Browns bring someone in. I know there's been a lot of talk about Kareem Hunt maybe coming back. But you have to remember, this team basically chose Jerome Ford over Kareem Hunt once already. I don't think after Ford's performance last night, that's going to change anything. I would expect Ford to lead this backfield. This is a Browns team that would really like to run the ball at least 50% of the time. I, you've seen them produce enough running back touches to support both Chubb and Hunt in the past. I do think Ford can be a number two running back moving forward. All right, so maybe Jerome Ford, maybe a merchandise I mentioned earlier. He's like Tom Ford now after what we're seeing there in Cleveland. I'm curious about the QBs to pick up. I, I know it has been great play for some, but anybody catch your eye when it comes to the signal callers? Yeah, I think it's been a really tough start in terms of matchups for Kenny Pickett, obviously going to San Francisco and facing that defense and that Cleveland defense is pretty good. The schedule is going to get a little bit easier. There's not a great option for streaming quarterback this week, but Pickett would be my favorite. I think he could be a top 15 guy this week. And then in two quarterback leagues, go make sure that Gardner Minshew's rostered in your league. Anthony Richardson in the concussion protocol. Minshew looked pretty good in action, in limited action this week. And anybody who starts in a two quarterback league, quarterback league should be rostered. Gardner Minshew, of course, made one of those hot tickets because we don't know the status of Anthony Richardson there in Indy with that concussion protocol there. What about the wide receivers on your watch? Yeah, Josh Reynolds, it's nice when the guy who's the top priority at wide receivers only rostered in around 20% of leagues, and that's Josh Reynolds. He has that great connection with Jared Goff that he's had since they were together on the Rams. We kind of overlooked him coming into this season. He looks like the clear number two option in the, in the downfield passing game, at least if you don't count Jameer Gibbs. I think you can count on Reynolds as a number three or flex type option who has bigger upside than that because of the downfield profile. Heath, I know it's only two weeks in and we're getting close to the week three, but I'm curious, how would you kind of sum up what you're seeing with maybe the wa waiver wire? Is it an uptick based on what we've seen in the past, or is this kind of normal? Well, I mean, Puka Nakua could carry it for the entire season. The fact that we found that guy on the waiver wire makes everything else worth it. But what we've seen from the running backs is kind of what you expect. Listen, Zach Moss still on the waiver wire, but he was a big ad last week. He worked out, but we have seen a lot of these fill-in running backs that haven't quite lived up to even half of what we would expect from the starter. So this is the way that it works. You find those young stars, you pounce on them like Puka Nakua. Be careful spending too much on the backup running backs. All right, we had to bring Heath in here because everything is up and rolling. If you don't believe me, appreciate it, Heath Cummings there. Check out our website, of course, because a lot of guys are getting claimed. Check it out there. Jerome Ford, Tom Ford, that's what I'm going to keep calling them. Kyron Williams, some big names that you might want to grab after today and what we saw last night, especially with those running backs, as he mentioned there. But if you don't believe me, you can always check out the guys' FFT. Uh, apparently, there's a podcast going on right now, and I guarantee they will be on that 1 o'clock hour to help you out. Jamie Eisenberg, Dave Richard, and others as well to check out there when it comes to those fantasy rosters.